the only course exclusive to Mario Kart Tour is finally back in the game after a full year. Piranha Plant Pipeline first appeared in the Pike Tour back in mid-July of 2023, and once that tour ended, it never appeared in the game again, until the Pipe Tour returned now, in mid-July 2024, a whole year later. But what really makes Piranha Plant Pipeline special is that it's the only course completely exclusive to this mobile game. Every other course introduced in Mario Kart Tour, from the various cities to the other new unique courses, like Ninja Hideaway and Piranha Plant Cove, all ended up in the Mario Kart Deluxe Booster Course Pass. All except Piranha Plant Pipeline. And frankly, to this day, that's still weird. Especially since by the time the final wave of the Booster Course Pass dropped in November of last year, it had already been several months since this course was last playable in Tour. And whether we knew it or not at the time, this would remain the case until the one year anniversary of the course. But what makes this course special and worth trying, beyond the fact that it's the only tour course left out of the Booster Course Pass? Well, thematically, it's one of the only courses in Mario Kart history to take place almost entirely within different warp pipes. Green, blue, red, even clear pipes in 3D World. Though it is similar to 3DS Piranha Plant Slide, the two courses are handled pretty differently. Pipeline not only has some half pipes, but it also has branching paths. You could choose to glide into the red pipe, which continues on to the clear pipe, or go into the blue pipe, which leads to an open section where you drive on top of a smaller green pipe. The two paths eventually meet back up around some fuzzies and piranha plants. It's not exactly a groundbreaking course, but the split paths are interesting, as not too many other courses do it in this way. So this is me telling you that, hey, for the next two weeks, Piranha Plant Pipeline is available in Mario Kart Tour, and if you're curious enough to give the course a try, it may be your only opportunity left to do so in any official capacity, because it's the only course in the entire series to only be playable during a set period of time. And we have no idea if it'll ever come back again after this tour ends. This past year, the game has been the exact same content and tours as the year prior. So if it does come back, it may be a whole year later yet again. Personally, I'm still disappointed that this course is the only one from tour left out of the Booster Course Pass. But I'm shocked that this is the first time the course has been playable in any capacity in about a year. I know I'm going to be booting up the game a few times during this tour just to get some races in, but what do you guys think? How do you feel about Piranha Plant Pipeline as a course? and the fact that it's finally back after a year. Let us know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for plenty more on Mario Kart and other things gaming as well, of course. Until next time, farewell.